Hey Taurus, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. And um, this should resonate for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. We're going to go over the overall energy for the month, uh, your situation, what's causing the situation, your hopes or fears. So if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post. Yeah, I feel like with that being said, um, let's go ahead and get into your guys' love reading. All right, Taurus. What's going on for Taurus? With love and romance. Okay. Time to give rather than to take. So this is a new moon in Virgo. Kind of pretty because a lot of people are getting new moons. Um, so I feel like that's just a new type of energy coming in, right? Um, also, too, just in case you guys don't know, there is a full moon in Libra, which is the very beginning, right? It's at like zero degrees. So this really is a new start, okay? What's the current situation for Taurus romantically? Okay, the chariot, possibly dealing with a cancer. There's some type of forward movement, okay? What's causing this chariot here for Taurus? The world card, beautiful. Okay, Taurus, so any of the fixed signs, uh, Scorpio, Leo, uh, you guys, Taurus, or Aquarius, okay? Some type of cycle is being completed. There's some type of change that's coming, which is probably causing this uh, movement. What's Taurus's uh, hopes or fears with love in this situation? Okay, Nine of Pentacles. This could be you guys just trying to collect your money and get your money right. Also, too, um, you know, this is definitely Virgo energy. Okay, and what is the ultimate outcome with love for Taurus? Ooh, pay attention to red flags. Okay. All right, let, let's figure out what the hell is going on over here. So, for your guys' past, you guys uh, have the uh, the sun card with the moon card. So it's kind of funny. It's like, as much as there was illusions here with your love life or, you know, something that was definitely missing or something that you didn't see, um, there has definitely been a level of happiness. Now, whether this is you being single or you shining light on something that's been hidden, I feel like um, <clears throat> the past has been very well balanced for you. It's not been overly emotional or overly happy. I feel like you guys have definitely been kind of like right where you're supposed to be. But especially with this moon card here, like that gets me a little bit nervous. Maybe you're dealing with a Pisces or a Leo um, <coughs> or a Cancer here. But I feel like for some reason, for you guys, um, you know, this can definitely be um, a situation that was hidden and now it's coming to the light. Maybe you were trying to hide, you know, your situation in order for people not to, you know, view it or see it. Um, I definitely think that there's something, so something there, you know, with that sun and that moon card, okay? Now, as far as the new moon in Virgo, which is funny because you have Virgo right here, um, and hopefully you guys can see this. Um, this is asking you to, um, let me think about this. This is asking you to restart whatever is going on, okay? So whether you're in a new relationship or you're single or you know, you're currently in a relationship that's not healthy, th this card is telling you to uh, be very clever and simple. And make sure that whatever you're doing is very, very, very planned out. Remember, Virgo is all about efficiency and logic, okay? Um, also, too, ironically enough, um, this is telling you that if you want to live, like, a healthy lifestyle, I feel like now is kind of the time to do it. Um, like, a, a cleaner, you know, clean eating almost. Um, should be added to your routine. I know that that's not pertaining to love, but I feel like, you know, Taurus, you'll, you'll appreciate that. Also too, if whatever's happening in love is currently blocked right now, 
it could be that you're being too over anical, you know, or, you know, you're over, you're fixating or you're over analyzing things and becoming too critical on yourself. So it's time to take, you know, um, ask less of what someone else is doing and do more for you, right? It's it, 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 and what you can do for others. Also too, it's, you know, going back to like a healthy routine, right? So if you guys go out and you guys go on a walk or you go running and you guys have stopped that because you've been in a funk, this is telling you like, hey, like now's the time to start taking, you know, taking that up. And I feel like by bettering yourself right now, it, it's going to gradually improve your life, okay? Also, pay attention to detail if you want to be successful, okay? Um, with this card, this is also saying that love and money are going to follow you, right? Um, and whoever you're asking about, this new person, whoever you're thinking about when you see, you know, when you came to the love reading, there, there is a, um, there's a lot of reliability that comes with this person, okay? This person is somebody who I feel like you can trust, who has a level of communication, and, you know, is very, their intentions with you are very pure, okay? And maybe this is moving on from somebody of the past, or it's, it's someone currently, all right? So, why is the chariot their current situation, or this is why, but where is the chariot going? For Taurus. Ter okay, so this is going towards the King of Cups. You guys could possibly be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, or um, Pisces. Okay, can you give me a little bit more information on this King of Cups? Okay, one more time. Maybe it's a Pisces. Can you give me a little bit more information on the King of Cups, please? For Taurus. Ten of Swords. Okay, I feel like you guys are releasing whatever hurt that's happened to you in the past. You guys have had some type of communication regarding it. Um, if you guys were really in your head about a situation because you were thinking of all these alternatives that were happening, it's like you're moving past that. And yeah, I feel like there's definitely a lot of movement from that, especially with that Knight of Wands. How does Taurus feel about this movement? You may be stuck in your head, which would make sense because this is telling you not to overanalyze it. How would Taurus feel about this movement? It's also too reflecting on your actions, right? There's a level of reflection here that comes with this forward mo uh, motion. It's like you have to reflect, especially with this Eight of Swords, you have to really think about what you want in life um, in order for there to be a level of forward motion or, or, or movement, you know? You have to have your plans and your ideas, you know, in place before you can move forward to anything, I feel like. How does Taurus feel about this overall? Two of Swords. You guys have a decision to make, okay? Which could relate to these options. Maybe a Scorpio, possibly a Gemini. Um, but what it's telling you here, especially since this is a major arcana, it, this situation is pushing forward, or a Libra, um, this, for, this situation is pushing forward regardless if you've made a decision or not, okay? Especially with this Two of Swords, it's like times up. Two of Swords, you know, Eight of Swords, uh, Seven of Cups, it's like it's pushing forward because this is supposed to happen. Universe is like, yo, you, you got to make it, so now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push it forward regardless if you want it or not. It's the energy of the world. The High Priestess, here you are, Taurus, Taurus or Cancer. There's something that's hidden from you right now or something that, you know, you're not seeing, okay? And I feel like it's because you guys have been stuck overthinking things and now, like, the universe is like, there has to be a sudden change. There has to be a level of unpredictability here for you guys to kind of make it interesting. Six of Wands. Right? There has to be some type of forward motion, forward movement pushing you, okay? Possibly towards a uh, Leo. Um, but it's pushing you towards uh, what, who you're supposed to grow with, where the expansion is supposed to come in. Th this is, they're pushing you towards somebody, I feel like, that there's a good potential you guys are going to end up, you know, marrying. Am I right? Six of Swords, okay? 
So there's multiple sixes here. Th this is somebody, you know, you're having a conversation with. You're moving past, like look at her. She's moving towards this, uh, towards this knight or this uh, six of wands from this two of swords. All this, she's moving, you know, past that, right? Um, it's a realization. It, it's some hard truths and it's allowing the past to be the past and moving towards something that's much more healthier, right? Um, but I do feel like there's a level of communication about this. Here you are, Queen of Pentacles, right? And maybe it's you having that tough, that tough conversation with yourself or somebody's having it with you, okay? Why is this? Oh, with somebody you love. Hello, that was up, right? How does Taurus feel about this? Maybe a Gemini? That just flew out. One more time. How does Taurus feel about this? Okay, Nine of Wands. You feel stuck? I feel like you don't want to make a choice. I feel like you guys are stuck. Like, maybe you know this relationship isn't progressing. However, it's like you've been with this person for a period of time, you know, and it's like, I, I don't want to have to move from that. I don't want to have to leave something and be forced into something else. But I do think that they're going to push you regardless. And if you don't make this jump by yourself, you know, there's a potential of you getting left out. So, um, why are you showing me the Nine of Pentacles for Taurus? With the Hermit, a Virgo. Um, I feel like, because these are both Virgo cards, okay? I feel like your your fear is being single. I think you guys are really scared of being single and, and thinking that, like, there's nobody here that's going to come in and, and, and be your partner or be somebody that you can relate to. You know, that fear that, oh, fuck, it's only me. It's always only me. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a fear in that. There's a fear of being alone and not having anybody to talk to but yourself. Five of Swords, reverse, but I'm gonna put that back. Can you give me more information on this Nine of Pentacles? Three of Pentacles, okay. Um, you know, having to work things out. Also, too, I feel like you're worried about some type of third-party situation or your partner is worried about a third-party situation, which could very well be something that's happening, especially with the Knight of Wands and um, the King of Cups. You know, you could be dealing with a younger fire sign or a fire sign that is your age and maybe the water sign is uh, somebody that's a little bit older than you. Um... But there's two different people here, which I feel like is why you have this Two of Swords. There, there's a decision that has to be made in order to move move forward. I just feel like you guys just don't know what the hell to pick, okay? Um, that's what I get heavy. So your guys' outcome is pay attention to red flags. So what are the red flags? Is it red flags in a good way? Like, I, I don't know. Sometimes I don't take negative cards as like negative. Like, I feel like you have to clarify in, under, in order to understand, you know, the depths of what's going on. So I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye.